In this lecture, you are going to learn about ng style directive in Angular. ng style is another built in directive of Angular, and ng style is an attribute directive. That means ng style changes the look and behavior of an HTML element. It does not manipulate the DOM by adding or removing elements from the DOM. It simply changes the look and behavior of an HTML element on which we are using it. Now, we use ng style directive to set a CSS style dynamically for an HTML element based on a given TypeScript expression. Let's understand this with an example. So here in this web page, we have a list of products. Now some of these products are available and some are not available. And the products which are available, we are displaying this text available. And the products which are not available, we are displaying this text not available. Now what I want is, for all the available products, I want to display this text available in green. And for all the not available products, I want to display this text not available in red. Let's see how to do that using ng style. So let's go to VS Code. So we are displaying this text available or not available inside this div using this available property. So on this div, let's use ng style. And this ng style, we can specify a TypeScript expression. Now here, we want to bind this ng style to a property. So for property binding, we need to wrap this ng style within square brackets like this. And inside these double quotes, first we need to use a set of curly braces like this. Then we have to specify the property which we want to change here. Now here, we want to change the text color of the available or not available text. Right. So for that, we can use this color CSS property. And to this property, we want to assign a value green when the text is available. And we want to assign it with the value red when the text is not available. Right. So for that, first we need to check if the value of this available property, if it is available, then we want to return a value green. So we, we have to return it as a string. So within quotes, we can specify green. But if the value of this available property is not available, in that case, we want to return this text, this string red. Okay, so here, if this condition returns true, in that case, this string green will be returned and that will be assigned to this color property. But if this condition returns false, in that case, this red will be returned and it will be assigned to this color property. So here, basically, we are using the ternary operator. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice for all the available products, this available is displayed in green. And all the not available products, this text not available is displayed in red. And this is what we use ng style directive for. Okay. Using ng style directive, we can set a CSS style dynamically for an HTML element. Here, we are setting the text color of this div element dynamically based on this condition. All right, let's understand this with another example. So now what I want is, for all the available products, I want to change its background color to light green. And for all the not available products, I want to change its background color to light red. And let's see how we can do that using ng style directive. So we are displaying the products in the web page using this div. So on this div, let's use ng style. Okay, and let's wrap this ng style within quotes. And again, first we need to use curly braces. Inside this curly braces, we can specify the CSS property. So here we want to change the background color. Then we use colon. And then we can write a TypeScript expression. And again, first we need to check if this p dot available, if it is equal to available, then we want to set the background color to light green. But if it is, you know, this p dot available is not equal to available, in that case, we want to set the background color to light red. So we need to write the same expression here. So let's copy this condition. Let's use it here. And here, if this condition returns true, we want to set the background color to light green. 
otherwise we want to set the background color to light red okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you will notice that if the product is available its background color has changed to light green and if the product is not available its background color has changed to light red so using ng style we can set a css style dynamically for an html element based on a given typescript expression this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day